it is Newcastle 1, Manchester United 0. Manchester United not getting three points, beaten by the two armies today. Saturday under the floodlights, where Manchester United created absolutely nothing. Done fuck all throughout the whole 90 minutes. And I have to say, and it's an embarrassing match today because we was toothless, spineless throughout the whole 90 minutes. It was a game where we saw Newcastle absolutely dominate the game against Manchester United. That is, I'm tired. I'm fed up with this team, you know. We can't play football. We seriously can't play football. We can't do anything. And today we had a starting line. We had Luke Shaw playing left centre back as well. And Luke Shaw and Maguire did all right today. But their full backs, I don't remember Saka, Diego Dallo let them down because they were open so many times. Not the fact that, as well, to add to it, that Marcus Rashford defensively wasn't doing shit. But we're going to talk about you, Marcus Trashford. Marcus Rashford was a disappointment, including his mate, Anthony Marshall, the fake B Tech version of Andy, Andy, Andy Cole and Dwight York. I can't believe we used to call him Andy White and Dwight York. They're shit. They are a B Tech version. But Manchester United, you know, that game against Newcastle, where I just thought overall, the first 45 minutes, we were severely under pressure from the get go. It's what we're used to as a Manchester United fan, you know, and what we're seeing from our team. Always underneath the cush, always on the back foot. For, the, for this last couple of months, you know. It's just getting worse game after game after game after game. Manchester United just under, profe under pressure, severe pressure from Newcastle. Newcastle, just that they were had poor finishing. But United was so poor with the ball as well. Even going forward, you know, what was the purpose of us going forward? Because we didn't know what we was doing, you know, in that first 45 minutes. It was nil-nil at half time and we thought, yeah, Maybe we can do something. Maybe we could just draw and just go home. Or maybe we can salvage something and get a goal. Huh. That never happened. We may not get a goal away from home against the top six, which we've never really won any team in the top eight. We don't win at all away from home. We ain't done it for a very long time. So the second half comes in now. In the first 10, 15 minutes, Manchester United continue the same way as they did in the first half. Rubbish. Poor, playing shit football, garbage football, my friends, guys. And then the goal came. You know what? Our fullback's useless. Absolutely open all day, you know, from the left to the right. Whether it was Dallo, whether it was Aaron wan -Bissaka, Anthony Gordon, Trippier, they were finding holes, you know, as well. Like, uh, Almiron as well was also finding gaps and holes. They were just picking us up apart. Sure as well, doing business as centre-back. Having Dre, that's the most threat that our strikers got was the centre back just going forward, going past them, finding balls over the top, you know. And the goal came, clearing Trippios, finding the whole pocket, running through Manchester United's um, left back situation. Diego Dallo, piss pants, shit, bro. I can't believe it. Opening my man up and sliding it in, and Anthony Golden to just tap it in to make it 1 0 to Newcastle. And from there, we didn't do anything, you know. We scored an offside goal, you know, Maguire and all that kind of stuff. But really and truly, the manager was even screaming and shouting at the players, especially Marshall, because Marshall didn't get the 90 minutes. He got talking off. Hoyland came on. But overall, Manchester United. Manchester United, my football club. What has happened? What has happened to this club? What an embarrassing night, you know. I was meant to go out. I said, no, let me do this. Let me do this watch along. But guess what? I'm here. I'm venting. I'm stressed. <laughs> this team. Guys, it's been poor. You know what? Today as well, full-time 1-0 to Newcastle. Players today was an absolute disappointment. Marcus Trashford, today, I swear to God, why did you play? Why did you play? Where, where have you been throughout this hole? You got your girl back, right? Did you not get your mojo back? Did you not hit it to get your mojo back, Marcus Rashford? I guess you haven't. Maybe you're not together because you played shit today, Marcus Rashford. You didn't get back with your ex, man. You're trying to press her. You're not going nowhere because you you look like he was not bothered today, Marcus Rashford. He looked like he was not bothered than Anthony Martial. Contributing absolutely nothing, you know. Luke Shaw was good today in his position. That's the only positive. Mainu did all right but couldn't have any impact or influence in this game. Do you know what? It's just tough being a Manchester United fan, guys. You know, man of match, nobody but you guys. Don't give the match has to go to Marcus Rashford, you know. 
Manchester United fans, it is what it is. A loss. We've got Chelsea at home at Old Trafford. Hopefully we can just salvage something and get three points against Chelsea. If we don't, maybe a draw. But if we really don't get anything, it's, it's looking really peak for the manager, the players as well. A lot of men are up for, for sale in January. So let's hope that happens. The takeover as well is still in the air. So we'll see what happens. Well, big up to everyone. This has been your match reaction from your boy, Aurora Spice, man. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments of today's game. Who was your man in the match? Who was your donkey of the match for today? Like I said before, it has to go to Mark Rushford, my donkey of the match. And we're back again. We'll be live Wednesday, 8 p.m. UK time for the Chelsea game at Old Trafford. Let's hope we can get something. Well, guys, take it easy. Enjoy your night. Peace out. Remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it ready united. Your boy is out. Peace.